So if you have any website which is having more than one languages and you want to create multiple languages website then you are on the right track but you have to follow one more video the previous video and the link is in the description so in this video we are talking about the pluralization of the words and some more tricks so here we have and firstly let's see one more trick so you can see we have used the underscore here everywhere here and here also so let's just copy this thing and instead of underscore if you don't like this you can also say at lang and when i go here refresh the page and it's now giving error so that means i have some problem here and yeah the problem is i don't have to say any kind of curly braces so i have to remove these go and refresh and yes everything is working very fine so this is i think looks more nice and also the descriptive way so it says lang yeah i know this is something translated word okay so this is the thing and one thing more suppose i want to provide some value here so so instead of between let's say i want to say welcome to my website so how will i do that so i will open this french one and instead of bit fumes what i will do i will simply say name so name is here and we have to provide the value for the name so i will give here name is having firstly get the same thing bit fumes so i will go here refresh the page and you can see it's same thing but so if i give here my website save this refresh and you can see it says something uh, obviously it's in the french and my website so you can pass actually the data in every uh, every lang file so same thing we can do here instead of this in the portuguese instead of bitfumes the name instead of english bitfumes name and now whatever your language or if you are not providing any language it will fall back to the or fallback language which is portuguese so this is the thing and now the pluralization you can see i have this item and value is zero but when item has one so it will be item but when item has two it will be items so how will we tackle this situation so for this situation what we can do obviously we have to say lang and here i will say header dot item so that doesn't matter what name you are giving here the matter is here so here i have to give item and here instead of this i will say simply item and inside here i will say count simple and very simple so same thing and here this and in the french so i don't know what we call item in french so i will go here and i will say item article really okay and in portuguese it's item so we will stick to item only because we don't want the that things we want only the pluralization so here so similarly we have to provide the value here so i will give here count is value 1 so refresh and 1 but count is value 2 so refresh 2 but now it's not getting the s here so what we have to do we have to give here something like here if i go so here in i go on the portuguese i have to give it two version one for the singular and second for the plural and this is very important the first one has to be singular and other second one has to be plural don't place plural string first then the singular so this is okay and let's go refresh and it's having some problem because you have to provide all these thing inside one string let's go refresh but it's giving all these things two times i don't want this i want to say something like this so here i will say here instead of this lang i have to delete that and multiple curly braces 
here I will say trans underscore choice okay and move this cursor at last and okay let's see refresh so now you can see it's giving item one but I have provided two here what's the problem because we now don't have to do these things it will have the trans choice so it will get the value directly and place it where we want so here it is so save this file go here refresh and yes items 2 and if I say 1 instead of 2 it will say item 1 this is the pluralization of the string so you can use these same thing for every languages so here save save this file save this file open go and whatever language you want en item and if I say three items but now suppose I want to give something like uh, if I have zero then I have to say no item so how will I tackle that situation for that you can actually provide the range here so I will say firstly if I have value zero then item and the same thing otherwise item the dot count so here I have to say one so that means if it is one then count if it is zero I have to say no item so no item and nothing else so go back refresh so now it's three but you can see it's not having s here items so here I have to give an array which says 2 and greater than 2 2 comma asterisk that will count for items so this is the pluralization and if you have any doubt you can feel free to message me and don't forget to subscribe and like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye <laughs> okay goodbye